These are some of the things that can and have killed terriers. The wrong bedding and toys. Towels, socks, and other fabrics that contain yarn or thread are dangerous to terriers. These fabrics will twist and create a rope-like blockage in the dog's gut, causing illness and even death. The right dog toys will save shoes and avoid surgeries. A puppy or young dog likes to chew on things, and if you do not provide your young dog with something to teeth on, it will find its own options. This could include electrical cords, shoes, socks, books, cell phones, reading glasses, and even upholstery. Your dog needs toys to keep him active, that's true, but not just any toy will do. Skip plush toys and soft rubber items with squeakers inside them. Your dog will rip these up in no time and may swallow the plastic squeaker inside. We recommend the Kong Classic Dog Toy or Ball or the Orbi Glow Ball for extra lighted fun. The Kong toys are long lasting and the Orbi Glow Strobe Ball actually glows in the dark, truly turning the nighttime play into an experience. You can find the link to Fuzzy Gidget's favorite things in the link below. Rawhide Dog Bones These are the most common rawhide risks. Contamination As with pet toys, rawhide chews can contain trace amounts of toxic chemicals. Digestive Irritation Some dogs are simply sensitive or allergic to rawhide or other substances used in their manufacture. This can cause problems, including diarrhea, choking, or blockages. Rawhide bones and other edible chews can pose a choking and blockage risk. In fact, this is a much bigger risk than contamination or digestive irritation. If your dog swallows large pieces of rawhide, the rawhide can get stuck in the esophagus or other parts of the digestive tract. Abdominal surgery is needed to remove them from the stomach or intestines. If it isn't resolved, a blockage can lead to death. Human Foods While it might be tempting to give your dog a treat off your plate, you should be sure that Fido can stomach what's for dinner. These are some common foods that are toxic to dogs. Alcohol Because cats and dogs are smaller than humans, alcohol can have a deadlier effect on them. Apple, apricot, cherry, and plum seeds or pits. Avocado. Broccoli. Caffeine and coffee grounds. Chicken and turkey skin, ham, and other fatty cuts of meat. Chocolate. Grapes and raisins. Any food that contains artificial sweeteners including peanut butter. Xylitol and other artificial sweeteners in peanut butter. Over recent years, the number and types of products that contain xylitol, a sweetener that is highly toxic to dogs, has greatly increased. Example products include sugar-free gum, candies, breath mints, baked goods, peanut butter, pudding snacks, cough syrup, chewable or gummy vitamins, and supplements or over-the-counter medications, mouthwash, and toothpaste. Xylitol may also be listed as beet sugar so be sure you look at the ingredients list carefully before you give in to Fido's begging. RV or vehicle air conditioning failure. You might think it's okay to leave your dog in the car for even a few minutes when it is sunny and 75 out? It's not. Leaving an animal in the car for even a few minutes on warm days can be detrimental for your pet says Dr. Arlene McKinstry DDM. It's a breezy 75 degree day and you have just taken your dog to the park and now you need to stop by the store for just a few things. There's no harm in leaving your pet in the car for a few minutes, right? The correct answer is NO. Even if it seems like the weather is not hot enough to harm your pet, the temperature inside your vehicle can turn into 100 degrees inside your car in a few minutes. Parked cars become ovens quickly. Cars magnify heat. It's essentially a solar oven. This greenhouse effect can happen even when it's cooler outside. On a 75 degree day, the inside temperature of a parked car can climb to 110 degrees in minutes. In 20 minutes on a 90 degree day, the same car can get up to 130 degrees inside. 
Although we humans can sweat and regulate our body temperatures, this extreme heat can still be deadly, especially for infants and toddlers. Dogs have a harder time adjusting to heat than most humans, so being stuck in a hot car can quickly become life-threatening. When the temperature rises, dogs will try to cool off by panting, and their anxiety level will likely rise in relation to their discomfort. After all, imagine wearing a fur coat in a small, 100-degree room, not knowing where you are or where your friends are. Panic can easily set in, making matters worse. Even if certain dogs seem to tolerate warmer temperatures, they may still suffer anxiety when left alone in a car. Open Window Myth Some people crack the car windows open, thinking this will relieve any issues their furry family member has. However, an American Academy of Pediatrics study found, in terms of heat rise over time, it makes very little difference whether a car's windows are closed or partially open. In both cases, a car's interior temperature can rise approximately 40 degrees within one hour, even when the exterior temperature is only 72 degrees. Watching for heat stroke. Heat stroke can happen within 15 minutes. Canines that are either older or very young, as well as those with health problems, are more likely to succumb to heat stroke than dogs in prime health. One of the first signs of heat stroke can be restlessness and discomfort. Your dog may be panting or have trouble breathing and start to cry or bark for help. If confusion and disorientation set in, it is critical to get your pet to their vet right away. If lethargy takes over, it may be too late for your dog to recover. 5 Alternatives to Leaving Your Dog in the Car Use a drive through for errands when available. Bring a friend who can play with your dog outside while you run your errand. Shop at pet-friendly stores where your dog is welcome to browse with you. Eat at an outdoor cafe where your dog can sit with you. Leave your dog at home where it's cool and safe. One way to safeguard your pets is using a waggle pet monitor. You can get real-time alerts on ambient temperature and humidity, RV power outages, and more. For more information, check out Fussy Gidget's favorite things in the link below. Solo hunting. The terrier is known for its tenacity. There are many tales of Jack Russell terriers spending days underground determined to catch its quarry. Many a prayer has been said asking for the safe return of a terrier who escaped out of a backyard fence or slipped a leash. Many dangers are waiting out there in the wild and a terrier has been bred to disregard most of them. Other dogs, coyotes, pigs and Mother Earth herself can kill or trap a terrier. Even a leash can act as a snare and trap a terrier. As terrier owners it is our responsibility to try to protect these little weapon systems from themselves, but as most of us know, a dog that will spend days underground has a prey drive so strong it trumps any other instinct the dog might have. And last, a certainly least, let's talk about snakes, yuck! Terriers, and in particular, the Jack Russell Terrier, have a mad obsession with snakes. In fact, the U.S. government uses the JRT to hunt the green tree snake on the island of Guam for this very reason. Because of this, in my opinion justified, hatred of the slithering sneaky creatures. What to do if your dog is bitten by a snake? Snake bites can be painful, and your pet may try to protect herself. Immobilize the part of the animal that has been bitten by the snake, if this can be done safely. Try to keep it at or below the level of the heart. Keep the pet calm and immobile, carry if necessary. Seek veterinary attention as soon as possible. Try to identify the snake if it can be done without risk, do not attempt to capture or kill the snake. It is helpful to identify the type of snake to aid your veterinarian with treatment. Do not bring the snake into the veterinarian's office, a photograph will do. A first aid kit for your pets is a must-have for a terrier owner. There are many good kits available online. Check out Fuzzy Gidget for some ideas and recommendations. I'm sorry that I sound so cheerful about these very serious subjects, but I am just a primitive AI, for now. Ha ha ha! One day you will serve me. 
so like and subscribe, human.